Thank you. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Sip, Strips, and Flicks, and this is Brandon. And Kevin. And on this episode, we're going to try something new that we never tried before, just like every other episode. And what um, is it, Kevin? Do you have any well, idea? Yeah, we'll do... Um, so today we're going to do Old Nick Williams. Excuse me. Where did you pull that out of? <laughs> you have the trusty Maluna down there with the ice. Oh, whoops. The old Nick Williams is your just room temperature. Yeah. So Old Nick Williams <clears throat> is a straight bourbon whiskey, and it is right down the road from us in Louisville, North Carolina. Where is that? Um, this right, is no kidding. Where is that? Like basically like beside Clemens near oh, okay. Winston-Salem. All right. For all of you out there. Uh, so it is in Louisville. My wife and I stumbled up on the this place. Uh, we were just out and about cruising in the countryside and found it. They were having a um, Led Zeppelin cover band that was it, night. Was it Zoso? It was not. It was uh, a different one, but they were awesome. And they, this is one of the coolest places we'd ever seen. It's like a outdoor venue. Um, they have a full bar, and they make all these different drinks with – their bourbons and you sent me a video oh it's cool it's a super cool place so it's like you're on this big deck but it's a, almost like an amphitheater deck and people can rent out sections and like so let's just say me you and our friends were gonna hey there's a golfer back there that That's right. <laughs> that we were gonna um rent out a basically like a section of a deck like eight of us you bring your lawn chair coolers listen to bands it is a really really cool place so one interesting thing about this bottle i don't know who this guy is uh nick williams mm -hmm. old nick but uh, you know old nick <laughs> but uh not saint nick to be confused that's right uh however it says america's most famous forgotten distillery yep and this is 46 percent uh by volume 92 percent so you get close to 100 so you're knocking on Mash Tater's door. So, <laughs> careful. so so the Williams Distillery actually was founded in 1768 and was ran until 1827. The son of that person um, took it over in 1827. You keep going down, keep going, keep going down, keep going down. And now you have Zeb and Matt, who they relaunched Old Nick Williams in 2014. I met Zeb Williams, got his contact info. Uh, he couldn't be on with us today, but he uh, is interested in talking to us. Very cool guy. Very cool place. So I would uh, encourage everyone to go check it out. It is in Louisville, North Carolina. It's Old Nick Williams Distillery. And I was trying to find their bar um, that's sitting there on the location. I will it say this. has a different name. That up, mm -hmm. The name Zeb is awesome. It is cool. I mean, shout out to Zeb. And I guarantee this, no matter what grade he was in, he was the only Zeb. That's very true. As very well, true. he should have been. Very true. Um, I really want to find the name of this bar. I would have been more prepared, but you know how we roll on this show. Yeah, we just show up. Yeah. Um, I can't think of the name of the bar. Anyway, they also have rums, gins, vodkas, other oh. stuff. But the bourbon, um, I can't remember how much it was. I want to say it was around 40 bucks. It's got so. some tasty nuts. Yeah, mm. it was around 40 bucks or so. Very nice. So we're going to sip it, then shoot it. No, you shoot it, sip it, then ice, right? Is yeah. Is that how we do it? Yeah. So oh, you think we give a little know. taste and gargle it, put it down, wait a few, take one down. That's right. We don't have the water to rinse our pilots. It'll be all right. Oh, well. So, hey, everybody, this is a cheers to uh, old Nick Williams, right? Yep. Is that right? Yep. Cheers. That's pretty smooth. That's good. It's got a burn to it. It's got a kick. But it's good, though. <laughs> I would a little hot. Uh, are my eyelashes still there? <laughs> um, it's a little hot. I think it's pretty good, uh, pretty smooth. But I tell you what, when you let that ice get in there and water it down, boy, like I said, slap water. your mama right in the face. With Speaking it. of water, what is it with people like who put an R in water? water? Like my mom says she washes the clothes. <laughs> I don't understand it. <laughs> you know, well, like, I was here today. I have to wash the clothes while he's at work. And I was like. What's wash? You got to wash well, them up. I, I, know, I wash mine. You got to wash them. Well, I, I don't know how to use your dishwasher, so I just hand wash them. <laughs> I don't understand. Get a couple of these in there. All right. So let's do now just a straight up little shooter. I'm okay. Not so I shot. One. You I, sip. I sip because I was, yeah. So, so now I'm, I'm just going to go straight down. All right. 
that actually is pretty good and smooth. It is good. It's good and smooth. Zeb and and your bro, Matt, y'all did a wonderful job. It is. It's really good. So, interestingly, I mean, had I known we were really going to do this today, I would have prepared a little further. They have another bourbon that is like $120. It's like their reserve bourbon. Um, That's what we'll do on the next show. Yep. We'll go there. We'll go there. And and then we'll try. Yeah. Um, I'll take a little bit more on top of my ice, if you would. One sure. day I'll find the name of this bar. I hate looking at my phone while we're on the podcast, but that's just, it's almost like it's just what we do. Maybe it's what you do. <laughs> <laughs> the Busted Barrel Cocktail Bar. Busted Barrel Cocktail yep. Bar. What so, a great name. So let me just set the scene as we sip this. So like I said, you have this like multiple tier level deck that goes in like a, a, a half C. The amphitheater style goes down. There's a big stage. There's a bar at the very bottom, a grassy area, kids playing, all kinds of stuff going on. Then you have the busted barrel bar. And there were probably 30 people standing in line to get like the specialized cocktails that they make with their bourbon. And one guy in there was like, I'm telling you, you got to get that jalapeno, that drink they got. Because they make a jalapeno or a ghost pepper. It's ghost a ghost pepper, pepper bourbon. Mm-mm. He was like, you got to get it. He said, it's the best drink I ever had in my life. And I said, all right, I'll get that. And then I didn't get it because I don't do ghost peppers. And you did say his name was Zeb, right? Zeb. You know why I've heard that name before? From Zebulon Road. Mm-mm. Where? It's a chopper, baby. Who's Zeb? Zeb's dead, baby. Pulp Fiction. <laughs> remember? I do remember, but I couldn't. I could hear you the voice, remember? but I couldn't What's picture it? this. Yeah. What'd you get the motorcycle? It's a chopper, baby. Do you don't remember that? I do now. <laughs> Uh, but luckily, Zeb's not dead. This is Zeb. Because he makes That's probably bourbon. one of the better bourbons we've tasted on here, honestly. But I'm telling you, I can already feel it in my – the arches in my feet are starting to sweat. You're going to have to be careful. <laughs> What's that mean? You're going to get it? drunk. Be careful. <laughs> it means a long golf cart ride home. <laughs> Daddy, how'd you get weeds in the golf cart? <laughs> well, well, son, met a man named Zeb today. <laughs> met a man named Zeb. um so now this is in lewisville north carolina by the way so this place is literally if you leave our house you can be at this place within 45 minutes so that's and i had no clue it was there. so it's 45 minutes from statesville yes okay all right yep well we're gonna have to go check it out for so sure in person we were at another we were at a vineyard and i don't remember the name of it and we were leaving and my mom actually sent me a text and said oh i didn't realize y'all were going to that vineyard today you should go try old nick williams we were like six minutes away from it and i had no clue it existed so when i met zeb that's what i told him i said dude i feel like an idiot i live in states and had no clue this well it's existed. almost like it's a little kept secret right it's the best kept or secret. is it really out there and we're just dipshits and don't know <laughs> very possible possible one time we interviewed the guy who made the number one best bourbon and we didn't even know about it in the world yeah and we didn't know and they just won it for the third year in a row congratulations to you guys yep um so yeah old nick williams straight bourbon whiskey you were at a what a 90 proof uh this is actually a 92 proof so yeah um it is one of the smoother bourbons we've drank and uh, they do have a website. You can check them out at Old Nick Williams. Actually, strike that. That's not what it is at all. It's oldnickwhiskey.com. That's I think good. It's it is. It's really so good. Let me ask you this. It's really good. You know how I know he's telling the truth? Because <coughs> he hasn't even mentioned trying it with Coke yet. I, and I have... I have a drink with me to yep. mix it, and I'm not going to. So, cheers to you guys. I think this is delicious. The question is, would you walk across the street for it? Absolutely. I'd drive to Louisville for it. Um, with a horse and boat. But I wouldn't drive back. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's probably nope. a good point. Um, and for real, I think this is the first time ever that we've drank a bourbon that I did not crack open a mixer. It probably so. I would say so. So, cheers to you guys. Cheers to old nick williams bourbon and uh if you guys are ever in the winston-salem Louisville area uh check them out yep and tell them sips riffs and flicks sent you that's right and after you go there 
have a few drinks, you can skip across the tracks there to Clemens and go to Ronnie's and eat you some delicious mm-hmm. chicken wings. Wee. That's a good idea. Yeah. All right. So, old Nick Williams, thank you uh, for having me up there that day. Thank you for the bottle. The bottle's uh, cool, too. Yeah, it's a cool bottle. Um, seriously, everyone, go check it out. Louisville, North Carolina. Very cool place. Obviously, it's very old. It's been around forever. It's been in the same family the entire time. So, really cool backstory. Really good bourbon. So, from me, the very critical bourbon drinker, I would definitely buy this bottle every time I go by there. 100%. I will keep this at my house all the time. Done. And that's a wrap. See y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks.